Black Friday officially upon us, there will be some extra eyes not only on those sales, but on those shoppers as well. An increase of security is expected across the Bay Area, and some shoppers we spoke with said they'll also be keeping a close eye on their surroundings. Wanting to score some big deals, this pair from Hayward visited San Jose's Santana Row for some Black Friday shopping. We were going to do it online, but since we've been home all year, it's just nice to try and get back outside and, you know, just see what everything has, especially since I figured it wouldn't be too busy. But in the back of their mind was what they've seen play out not only here in San Jose, but across the Bay. That took into account where we were going to go to shop. In the past week, several large groups of bold, brazen thieves running into stores, grabbing what they can and heading out. Scenes that have played out not only in San Francisco, but San Jose, often at high-end stores. And just this morning, San Jose's police took a burglary report at this men's clothing store just down the street from Santana Row. The store was closed at the time of the break in and police don't have any suspect information. Police were also clear in telling us this incident is not believed to be connected to the other recent smash and grabs. But this holiday season in light of the recent rash of crime, local law enforcement and city leaders say they're reacting. San Jose Mayor Sam Licardo says he wants to install more license plate trackers to help locate the vehicles used as getaway cars and local municipalities say they've upped their presence as a way to keep both shoppers and retailers safe and some shoppers say they've taken notice. I've seen a combination of everything. I've seen some people with some vests on, you, you know, they clearly stand out and you know, it's, I think it's a mix of both. But many don't plan to slow their shopping anytime soon. We're here in San Jose, Sierra Johnson for NBC Bay Area News. Thank you, Sierra. Our Bob Riddell visited several shopping centers this morning trying to measure the size of the crowds. He's now at the San Francisco Premium Outlets in Livermore. Let's check in with him as he continues our coverage. Bob, what are you seeing out there? Well, I can tell you the San Francisco Premium Outlets behind me here in Livermore, definitely crowded. This is the traffic getting into the mall. I, to me, it feels like a normal Black Friday here uh, in terms of the number of shoppers. Uh, like a lot of retailers, the outlets did not open yesterday on Thanksgiving, and they didn't stay open all night as they've done in years past. Instead, they open at 6 o'clock this morning. As I mentioned, getting here is a challenge. Um, I was just down the street on 580. I almost didn't make it to my live shot. Uh, you can see the line of traffic to get into the mall backed up on 580 here in Livermore. And by the way, that'd be my fault so, since I should have known better. Uh, and once you're inside the mall, there, there are a lot of people. Some stores with long lines outside, people waiting to get in. We've seen this in years past. Uh, this is a video my daughter shot of the line into the Nike store. She was here early this morning. She waited for quite some time before finally giving up and leaving. Uh, said, in her words, nothing was worth that kind of wait. And it appears she was not alone. Did you get in? No way. How long was the wait? Probably like four five or five hours. hours. No way. It's long. The line goes like almost halfway to outlets. Hats and yeah, sweaters. Yeah, how much you spent? A hundred. How much you saved? A hundred. No, more than like at least 300. Really? Yeah. Okay, so it was worth it. Yeah. Okay, Maybe how long do you have to wait? Like 20 minutes. Do you have a budget in mind of how much you're willing to spend today? <laughs> a budget in mind? Well, currently I'm a student, so <laughs> I'm not working. I'll probably be working during winter break because I don't have a budget and whatever we do today is going to put a dent in my bank account. We met her outside the Stone Ridge Mall, uh, and this is video you're looking at the mall there in Pleasanton from around 7 this morning. It's about an hour after it opened for Black Friday, and what we saw Plenty of parking, no rush of shoppers at that hour. Compared to that to the Livermore Outlets behind me, it's a night and day. I, don't, I haven't been to the mall, though, the Stone Ridge Mall, though, since this morning, so maybe that's changed. Anyways, Alliance Research expects shoppers to pay on average between 5 and 17% more this holiday shopping season for things like toys, clothes, appliances, and TVs, especially TVs. Uh, you can blame that on the labor shortage and the backup in the supply chain. And anecdotally, I've been coming to the Livermore Outlets I hear every Black Friday, namely to buy dress shirts. And this is the first year, Scott, where I've seen the dress shirts I normally buy cost more than they have in years past, even though they were on sale. And it wasn't worth it, so I left empty-handed. Well, you've Scott. invented a new, a new index, the Riddell Dress Shirt Index. Bob Riddell, thank you, reporting from Livermore. Meantime, the reward.